Western pop music has always been open to influences from very different parts of the world. And at this very moment, not far from here in South London, the Reggae Sunsplash Festival is going on with a mixture of music from Jamaica and Africa. One of the most exciting performers there is King Sunny Day. This week he releases Aura, his third album in Britain, although back home in Nigeria he's made more than 40 LPs in 10 years. To discuss African pop, ESA met King Sunny Day and his 20-strong band during rehearsals at London Shepperton Studios. <laughs> In Nigeria, the royal-blooded King Sonny is a legend. His set lasts for as much as 10 hours, and every album sells thousands. In Britain, he can enjoy the opulence of his own gold Rolls Royce, but bringing juju music to the West is an expensive operation. Most of my money I made is always going back into my music by way of uh, promoting it and um, getting the music across to people, because, like, Getting 27 people on the road, having 22 bands, have the manager, the road manager, the uh, public, the crews, or the lighting engineers, the sound engineers, and then the uh, producers, or kind of people, is not easy because it has to come on me. Because we don't have the facilities like you have here in Nigeria. Like you want, you want to use. Uh, you want to play in the stadium, and you just make a call. I want so so how many thousands of WPA we want, and this type of speakers, this type of microphone. You don't have, I have to buy it on my own. So the money I made goes back to, to the music as well, and on charity also, because I believe so much in charity. One of the most distinctive elements of King Sonny's music is the use of the Hawaiian pedal steel guitar. He successfully blended it in with the traditional African sounds to make it a trademark. We are the first African music, a musician, I mean, a juju musician to introduce Hawaiian. In fact, I would say I brought Hawaiian to Nigeria my, for the first time. Way back, 60, I mean, 74. But Hawaiian has been in Nigeria but nobody puts into their music. So when I introduce that, and the people love it, and then every band said it went. A harmonica solo from Stevie Wonder on the new album Aura is an indication of the growing status of King Sonny. Well, I would say I am one of the pioneers getting the, I mean, holding the African flag because I cannot deny my identity. I have a travel max that belongs to my country, especially my hometown, Ondo State in, Ondo, in Nigeria. And also I'm playing the music, African music, and also um, my song, all my, my songs, or my language, I speak my language, so I have full identity. So I would say I'm one of the pioneers carrying the music all over here, holding the flag of Nigeria together. Despite the commitment he now makes to recording and touring in Europe and America, he's made few compromises to his style. He sings in Yoruba, and the basis of the band is traditional Nigerian songs and traditional instruments, particularly the talking drum. We have different kinds of talking drum. This is the small one. This is called gongo, G-A-N-G-A-N. -G -A -N. We have the bigger one, which we have to put on the, I mean, put on the soldier, then you press it to the laps instead of press it with your hands. That is the mother drum, we'll call it dun dun, D-U-N-D-U-N. -D -U -N. So this kind of drum is the one we are using in the whole days for communication, because we don't have telephone or wireless or anything like that. But we can communicate, he can play and say something to me, like, he can call my name, probably you say, Sonia Ade, say Sonia, Sonia Ade, my Adeni, the son of Adeni. How are you? You know. And then I'll say, more. You see, like things like that, he could, he could communicate to you. But they are using it to communicate to people. Few in Britain may know what the drums are saying. 
but the message from King Sonny is very straightforward. I feel that whenever I'm playing the music, I'm enjoying myself. So I want people to share it with me too. I want people to forget about their sorrow. At the moment, we have to communicate to each other with peace and love. Thanks very much.